Are you as bad as me when it comes to watering your plants at home? Do you just wish that you knew every time when you had to water them? Well, today we're gonna build a plant monitoring system using the Maker IoT carrier, three of them, and a couple of moisture sensors, and the data from these sensors we're gonna send to the Arduino IoT cloud. Using the Arduino IoT cloud allows you to create a dashboard, and on this dashboard you can actually observe all of the data that is streamed from here. Additionally, we're gonna use this water pump that will allow us to water the plants remotely. So to begin with, we will need three plants. And for these three plants, we'll need three Maker IoT carriers that have their moisture sensor connected. And then they're gonna be connected to the IoT cloud. We're also going to connect a pump to plant number two. We're going to use three Maker IoT carriers. To these, we're gonna connect one moisture sensor to each of these. Additionally, we're gonna use a Maker Wi-Fi 1010 which will be connected to the Maker IoT carrier. For this product, it's really easy. All we have to do is use a Maker IoT carrier, connect the Maker Wi-Fi 1010, and then we need to connect the moisture sensor to one of the analog pins, like this. Then we're going to use this pump and this power source and connect it to the Maker IoT carrier and then control it through the Arduino IoT cloud. So first off, we're gonna create a thing. And we can name this thing something good, like for example, plant one. And then we're gonna connect the device to it. So we're gonna set up a new device. And now we need to connect our device to the computer. And it will be automatically recognized. And now we can see that the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 has been found. So we just need to name it and we're gonna name it, for example, plant one device. And it's gonna take some time for this to authenticate. So it can take up to five minutes, but usually it takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And now it's finally done. And as soon as it's done, we are going to add our first variable by clicking on the add variable button. First up, we're gonna add the moisture variable which is going to be a regular integer. And now we're going to set it to read only, and then we're going to add it. You can see the moisture variable there. We're going to add another variable called humidity. And this is going to be a float. And same thing here, we're going to click on the read only, and then we're going to add it as well. There we go. And these are all the variables that are needed um, for the plant one device. Finally, we're going to add the network by clicking on the configure button and enter your network name and your network password. Mm -hmm. And that's all in terms of configuration. So now we can move on to the sketch. Here in the sketch, so we're gonna start from top to bottom. Um, it's a pretty easy sketch, but we first need to include the thing properties, which is already included in the sketch. But we're gonna add the uh, Maker IoT Carrier library, and we're gonna create the Maker IoT Carrier object. We're also gonna define the moist pin to be A5, and we're gonna configure the uh, red light and the green light variables. So these can be used later on. And then after that, we are going to go down and in the setup, we're going to use the carrier case equals false and the carrier dot begin because we're not using a case for maker IoT carrier, we have to say false. Um, inside of the loop, we start by reading the humidity and store it in the humidity variable. And then we're going to read the raw moisture from the moist pin. And then we're going to map this <clears throat> from the range of zero to 1023, 200 to zero. And this will create a nice little range between zero and 100 where zero is the driest point and 100 is the, the moistest point. I'm sure there's a better verb for it. 
Um, and you can see here as well, we're adding one that if moisture is below or equal to 20, <clears throat> we're going to turn the lights red. So <clears throat> if you're walking down your living room and you see this red light, then you're going to see that, oops, we need to water the plant. So you don't even need to go to the cloud to see it. And uh, if it's good, it's going to shine green. Uh, that's a that's a visual cue for you. So after we're done with that, we're going to head and upload the sketch to our board. And again, this is going to take some time, approximately one minute to upload it. If it's the first sketch you're uploading, it might take a little bit longer. But we're going to go ahead and wait there. And as you can see here now, uh, it's being uploaded. We can follow it in the command line here, uh, in the console, sorry. Um, and it should be successful. Yes, it is successful. That means that we have successfully uploaded the first sketch to the first device. And now we're going to create the next thing. And this, we're just going to speed forward because it is exactly the same as device number one. But now for the third plant, uh, device we're gonna create a little bit differently. It's gonna be about the same sketch, but we're gonna add the pump to this one So same thing here. We're going to add the device. We're gonna configure it um, I'm gonna wait for it to connect and uh, We can probably fast forward through this. So now we're gonna add the same variables as before uh, We're gonna start with the moisture and add the moisture integer and we're gonna have it as read only as the other, oh, sorry, it needs to be an integer. Um, <clears throat> and we're gonna add the humidity variable as well. And once we have added the <clears throat> final humidity variable, uh, it means that we have uh, three humidity and three moisture variables that we're gonna have spread across three devices. Now we're also gonna add the relay. And the relay is just gonna be a Boolean uh, it's going to be read and write, because we want to we want to be able to write to it. Uh, we're going to want to be able to alter it, more or less. And we're going to add that variable. And uh, then, of course, we need to connect to the network. Uh, it's going to be the final. Um, and this sketch is going to be just like a slightly bit different. We're going to have an extra little function at the bottom of it. Um, and if we scroll all the way, we're going to copy paste the uh, the code that we have from before um, and then we are going to add this so um, in the very bottom you can see that we have a function called on relay change and basically if the relay is true we're gonna say relay open else we're gonna say relay close and while the switch button is on um, the uh, pump will pump and if we turn it off, it will stop pumping. So it's a very easy mechanism. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and upload this. And as soon as it's uploaded, we have basically configured all the technical aspects of this product and we can start to, uh, to test them out. And there we go. We are now uploading the program. And it seems like everything is working. All right, great. So there we go. So just to recap a little bit, we have now set up basically three identical devices. Uh, we have uh, plant number one device, we have plant number two device, and we have plant number three device. Now plant number one and two, they're identical. They both use the Maker IoT carrier and they both have a moisture sensor connected to them. And they each have a humidity and moisture variable. But for the third one, it is almost identical, but we added a relay to it. And this relay is, of course, we're going to uh, connect to the pump. So just to recap a little bit there, we have the three devices, and now we're going to test them out um, in a real setting. So now we're going to build a dashboard in the Arduino IoT Cloud. So begin with, uh, we're going to click on the Build Dashboard button. And in here, we're going to link our variables from our various devices. So we'll start by adding uh, a bunch of widgets. So for the humidity variable, we can choose the percentage and then we need to link it to our uh, thing and the variable and then click on link variable. And as you can see here, it's already registering value. So that means it's working. So that's great. I'm going to click on done. And now we're just going to repeat that process. So 
just a couple more times. There we go. Percentage widget, and then plant tree. And then we have all the humidity. So, and they're all working as well, so it's really nice. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a chart widget for the same ones. So I'm going to press the line because I like the line a little bit better. And then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. So plant two humidity and you can see that the line is working very nice and it's, it's lined up here. I'm going to add another chart. And we're gonna do it in order here. As you can see, it's really easy to just add these variables directly um, here in the dashboard, um, and the val values are just coming in straight away, which is really really nice. Um, so let's do the final humidity chart, just so we can have like something we can track over time, which is kind of nice. Let's see, plant tree humidity, and we have our final line. There we go. And now you can also use the arrange widget buttons. And this is really nice for like building a um, sophisticated dashboard. That you can move around the things. So for example, here they're corresponding to the other value. So you can see the value in real time, but you can also see how it has changed over time. So click on done there. So that's all the humidity widgets. Really nice. It's really in real time data is really, really fun to watch and it's all just recording from these devices. And these devices and they can now be deployed anywhere and they will be streaming the same data. And uh, it's all coming into one dashboard. Okay, so now we have three humidity widgets, three chart widgets that are linked to humidity. We're also gonna go ahead and add the, um, the moisture widgets. Um, and we can use a, maybe we can use a gauge for that. Um, let's see how that will look like. So starting with plan two, I'm gonna click on the moisture and then we're gonna link it. And you can see it's zero right now, it's because we haven't put it in a plant yet. So we'll gonna have to get to that later. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, plant one, moisture. There we go. You can see that one is malfunctioning a little bit. I think it's because that one might actually be a little bit moist at the moment. Anywho, I'm gonna add the last one, plant tree, and then I'm gonna add moisture. And you can see here this one is zero. So this one is a bit different. So let's see if we if we touch these ones here now. Let's see if we can produce a reaction. Yeah, you can see there. Like I'm touching here now, they're producing a little bit of moisture, which is really nice. You can see it live here. And then the final one, we had some, some problems with it earlier, so it might not be connected to the right pin or something, we need to investigate later. But we can see here now that we have three, um, we have three humidity widgets and then we have three moisture widgets. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, range them a little bit more nicely as well. Um, for now, we're just going to put them down here. Uh, and you can do this a little bit how you want to. It's just really flexible and nice uh, to move it around. And uh, I'm gonna click done. So yeah, now you can see that we have the humidity, we have the shard, we have the moisture, and it's just really nice to see that it's it's kind of all working here. And this this product looks like it's it's ready to be deployed. Um, finally, as we said earlier, we're going to add a pump as well. And for the pump, uh, it's connected to a relay, and a relay is, has a very basic working principle. It's either just on or it's off. So we're gonna go ahead and add a switch button that we are going to link to plant tree because we connected it there. And I'm gonna link it. Nice. And then I'm gonna click done. So we can see the switch button here. You can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Nice. All right, so when I click this one now, I can hear the relay. We haven't actually connected the pump yet because we're gonna connect it when we set the whole thing up in a real environment. So right now we're just having it here on the table, um, but we can make sure that everything is working. We have to troubleshoot the last capacitive sensor. Maybe we have to replace it if it's a faulty one, 
but uh, this is basically it. Uh, we can also name this the uh, plant dashboard. And um, as you can see, you have a great overview. If you zoom out a little bit there, you can see all of them working. Um, it's a really nice setup. And when we are done, we can click on the eye. And you can see here that it's 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 a it's a nice little dashboard that you can you can use. Um, so now that we have done the dashboard, we can move on to maybe check out how we're going to implement this in a real environment. So today we created a plant monitoring system which now helps us to keep track of the different plants here in the office. And we can use the dashboard in the cloud to watch that data, the plant data, in real time. And as a bonus we also built a pump setup which allows us to remotely water one of the plants here. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project.